In every generation, there's a moment where everything changes. This is one of those moments. Introducing GE Additive. I'm uh, Stefan Motten, I'm the Vice President of Materialize, leading the software business. And what Materialize show and stay at Formnext? Well, for us it's, it's exciting times at Formnext. Uh, for one, there's a lot of fuzz around 3D printing being, uh, being really getting uh, introduction into mainstream manufacturing. Uh, we are making some great uh, additions to the Materialized Magix 3D print suite, but what we're really doing here is setting a challenge for the industry. For us, playtime is over. If additive manufacturing is going to get introduced as a mainstream manufacturing technology, we as an industry need to rise to the challenge. We need to, uh, to make sure that we as an industry take control over what we're doing. So I'm talking about taking control over part quality, taking control over uh, efficiency of production, uh, scrap rate within your production. So all of the things that we as materialized have already been doing for, for decades. If you look at our own internal production, well, at this moment, I'm, I'm proud to say that we're the, the, the only certified uh, manufacturer and, and supplier to Airbus for uh, printed plastic parts, which is uh, a showcase that we have control over our own production. That, of course, we translated into our software backbone, and a great example of that is GE, that's uh, publicly quoted that Streamix is invaluable for them to, to ramp up the production of their Leap uh, engine. And all of that thanks to the integration of all the, the decades of knowledge and experience that we have of taking control over the 3D printing process, incorporating that into our software backbone. Another great uh, product that we're launching actually today at Formnext is uh, the inspection uh, solution called Inspector, which will allow other companies to also inspect their, uh, their part quality, inspect the entire printing process, and make sure that they safeguard the, the, the quality, assure the quality, and, and meet the standards that are imposed by very regulated and, and quality-oriented industries like automotive, like aerospace, and the medical domain. And you mentioned an example then, the, the Leap Engine. Can you talk to us a little bit about that because it's on the booth today at Formnext? Yeah. yeah, it is, and uh, we're very excited about that, uh, obviously. I think it's a great example of the power of 3D printing, how it can revolutionize an, an industry, aviation in, in this case. And now it's a combination of, of great engineering, great design, resulting in this, this product with a lot of the, of, of the advantages that uh, GE is bringing forward, but also being able to realize it. Realize it not just once as a showcase, but realize it in, in, in volumes. So thanks to the streaming platform, GE, is able to ram that up to bring that into volumes in a consistent way, in a quality controlled way, and also in a very economically viable way. Of course, for Materialize, uh, software is such a huge part, and you guys have actually just released some additions to your software. Yep. Can you talk us through a little bit about that? Sure. Well, we, we've actually released additions to, to most of the, 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 the products in our software suite, uh, going from, from uh, design enhancements, where uh, a lot of features were added to, to, the, traumatic, uh, to the traumatic product, also increase, in, increasing uh, usability. Uh, ease of use, uh, 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 streamlining that, that, that process. When we look at Magix, well, metal is, is growing tremendously and we added a lot of features in Magix to make the life of the designer and the build preparator, the, 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 the com guy, a lot easier, uh, a lot more straightforward, saving time, uh, improving part quality by doing so, and basically resulting in, in, in better parts. Next to that, we have, uh, of course, the Inspector product that I mentioned, which is really great to now bring to the market. We have been using that internally within our production to, to streamline and, and uh, continuously increase the quality of the parts that, uh, that, that we bring out. And it's great to now share that with, uh, with the public. Yeah. Another great thing, of course, is if we look at our, our software portfolio, we're continuously looking at, at partnerships. For us, openness is really in our DNA, in our core, and we're looking at partnerships, how to well, better bring our technology, our solutions to the people that really need it. I think one great showcase today also at our booth is uh, we have a, a concept demonstrator, uh, actually hosted by, by, by Siemens, presenting what our uh, uh, valued and, and, and proven technology in additive manufacturing, when you combine that with a uh, proven PLM and, and, and CUT platform, what that would result in as a concept demonstrator to show, to show what sort of effect that can have in the, the manufacturing industry. And finally, as you said before, it's all about playtime being over and one of the things you keep reiterating is that this is real additive manufacturing. What does that mean to materialize? Well, it's what we've been doing and what we've been advocating for, for, for 20 years. It's not just about printing a part. It's not just about showcasing the, the, the power of the technology. When it is to be integrated in real manufacturing streams, well, you need to have control over what you're doing. A production manager needs to know what this machine is doing at all times, needs to, to have a grip on quality, needs to have a grip on, on, on scrap rate. So that's what we mean with, with playtime is over. It's not just about that one printer. It's about the effect that additive manufacturing can have in the industry at large, in manufacturing at large, which means that we need to to adhere to, to, to the quality standards that exist within those, uh, within those industries. So we seriously need to, to raise the bar 
as, uh, as, a, as an industry, as an additive manufacturing industry. And it's great to see that the thing that Materialize has been living for more than two decades, has been advocating all along, that that's proven now by the needs of the manufacturing industry. And I seriously hope that the whole additive manufacturing industry will take that up, take the cue and rise to the challenge.